Welcome back to another episode with me, Chili Philly. This is Stellaris, and we are playing as the Feisty Feasters. You know, I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm going to try it today. We're going to say it five times fast. Feisty Feaster, Feisty Feasters, Feisty Feasters, Feisty Feasters, Feisty Feasters. Feisty feasters. Nope. We're going to practice that off camera. Because it's horrible. Anyway. Our team is looking great. They have vanquished their first foe. Well... I say vanquished loosely because they are technically still alive, but we did manage to grab about eight to nine systems off of them, um, limit their expandability, and we are currently sending our little science ship down here to do explorations of their goods. My flag is still, weirdly, some other thing I did not pick. It's driving me nuts. Anyway, we are going to gear up our fleets. We're going to clean them up, get them ready. And make sure that they are strong enough in case the neighbors to the north decide that the feisty feasters need to go. Why the heck is... Oh, my transport's up there because of the uh, uh, the takeout we did up there. Yeah. And who is this? Oh, we're going to have you floating through my space for the next ten years. As I float through his, too. Anywho, let's get started. The team is up and running. Everybody's doing good. We need to find a science ship not doing anything. Oh, this guy. He's excavating. You know what? You are just surveying Technology the world. Complete. So we are going to survey this. Engineering. Yep. The robots who are searching that space have discovered that site. They're going to be all about that now. Uh, yeah, we're going to boost the defensive platforms. I think the next thing I'm going to do is at these stations here, the Revac and the Corellia station. Uh, we're going to work at getting those some defensive platforms to get them a little stronger. So we need a lot more alloy. Our construction is complete. And anybody looking for some room? You need some room. Get you guys set up in some space there. Everybody else is stuck on available space. Nothing to build. Which one is my... This one. I thought I had designated you as a generator world. There we go. Get some bonuses for that. I think for the time being, any anybody who's out of a job is going to be sent over here to help sit on the generators. And food is definitely my food. I think I only had one place doing food, right? This one? Oh. Nine jobs, man. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to pick another one for food. Wooden Forge World. Oh, there's the Agri World. Yep. Get a couple more food worlds there. Or food worlds. Food slots. Our construction is complete. Good stuff. just floating that fleet around just just dangling it out there just to show me what he's got technology conceived. no way is this a dead end system back here i think it is i think it really really is Food is 11 months out from pooping itself. Oh, which that means we're going to sell 500 of those. And a bit of that. We're doing fine. The Marian Multitude is gone. Which one was that one? I don't know. Didn't get to eat them. Maybe they've got some other citizens out there offering meat someday. That's two systems, right? Side by side. Nice. So I think if we go to war with the robots again in a few years, we're going to have to get to at least these systems. Even if I don't get to claim these ones back here. Um, mainly because that'll prevent 
this neighbor here from getting any extra space out of it. Which is what we want. No forces amassing. I'm definitely yes, so high on the borders. I don't want to be taken by surprise. And the signs of resistance on strange flows. Okay. What's in there? Yes, yeah, so we got a bunch of worlds. Let's see. Expansion planner. Letter 50. 50s and 45s. I don't think there's anything above a 50 right now. I really need to colonize a couple of these just because even at 50, like, I need the space. I need to expand a little bit. I think I'm going to do these two here. Well, this has Titanic life, so that's a huge research bonus. So this will have to be a research world. <clears throat> so I think we're going to take Tavender and get a crew on the way. As well as this one. Yeah, our food and energy are going to take a hit, but it's okay. And we don't have room for another space station. We could take one out. Let's take this one out for now. Ooh. They look delicious. We're going to take this one out. We're going to upgrade this one here in Hixar system. And food in 12 months again. Man, we are eating a lot of food. Well, we are the feisty feasters, so we're always going in hungry. Keep digging. There they are. Omicron aliens. Let's see. Is that a ship bouncing around? Oh, it's a crystalline entity. My, my guess, I'm sticking with it too. Good. And oh, he's got a second planet, so we're going to have to come out there anyway. That's a new development, because I don't think he had that originally. That or my espionage is completely choked. Yeah, it's choke holded. Let's find out some more information. Didn't realize you would run into the wall. This one's probably the same boat. Almost. Just about there. Uh, you're going to acquire an asset, though. Yep, we lost some insights on the robots. That's okay. We will survive. Get you reinforced. Are you guys doing anything? You're just floating around right now. So come and claim this. And then move here. Ship upkeep. Yep. Let's reduce that. Because that'll help the energy crisis. Pixar. There you go. A couple gun batteries. And short the necessary funds for that. That'll be okay for the time being. Now, Zestia does have a system, but if you're familiar at all with the uh, with the Rubicon um, dig site, I can't do anything about it. All right, so what's going to happen is we're going to excavate this site for the kleptomaniac rats, and we're going to find the Rubicon, and then... There'll be a friend who pops up into that zone who will have to kill, who we are greatly outmatched with right now. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And you, Mr. Archaeologist, who has done a phenomenal job. I don't think there's anything else on this end of the galaxy for you. 
think we still have, like, <laughs> I still got five digs I know about. Like, this is great. Uh, you're gonna keep working away. I don't think there's anything down here that I grabbed from the robots. No. Uh, here. Excavate that site. And we'll do that one. I think the other one's here. There's one there. And there's one way out here. So, there's three more in my space that I can do. Oh, we learned something. Or was I studying that before? Let's finish that one up. That will help this as well, because I do have mining stations getting energy credits as well. Oh, yeah. Let the fleets upgrade, get a little stronger. I have no intention to move against these guys at the moment. I mean, I really could and weaken them up. But I think... I was to declare war. Yeah, he's got... This one here is the one I'm more worried about than the other two, because they're both tiny little uh, vassals. This guy here, however... Let's just center in on him. This guy here, he's got this chunk of space. Like, he's not a little enemy to be messed around with. So, I think that's actually... Yeah, he's this guy right here, too. So they're neighbors. So we're going to work the espionage angle there and uh, eventually get them, hopefully, upset at each other. So we can start picking them off. And I may have to start going this way, too, see what we can do. Our construction is complete. Let's get some guidance. Stability. Ship weapon damage. Uh, I've, I'm not using my guns. You know what? I don't. I gotta do it, don't I? Yeah, I gotta do something. We're gonna do that. I can't go to war with the machines again for a few years. Oh, three years. So I get two years with the bonuses from that, but then it's a ten year cooldown, I believe. Yeah, so it's ten years of cooldown, so I'd be five years without it again. That's alright. Yeah, we're food in ten. We're doing alright though for minerals. Like we are we are cleaning up house. And the Zero is just gonna be automatically shuffled off, I think. Our construction is complete. Good. I'll make that one. What is this? Hmm. Are they all floating around together? Oh, they're just floating around. It's subspace ruptures. I. They have no armor, so it's straight to all points. And they have shields. Remember if there's something there, or there's a chance for a random event there. Yeah. We're going to get there soon. Right, you've done everything over there that I can ask you to do, so you... <laughs> Sorry about your luck, but you're going to excavate that site because you're not an archaeologist and you're minorly expendable. Oh, we found an encryption key for the attaching of the cord. Technology conceived. Oh, good, they're busy working and we're losing contact with them. Uh, like that one. Where's my fortress planet? I know I have one. There it is. How you guys holding up? You got jobs? stronghold going. You've got districts too, so... 
That's it for any of people who have. Yep, good. Good. That means we got three Our jobs. Is Look at that, it's coming down. That's Technology conceived. Get the food one next. Oh. Battleships. Battleships. Always gonna be battleships. We have claimed a new nest. Oh, look at that. We're growing again. They made it. These guys are about to land. Uh, let's see. Are you landing? We have claimed a new nest. I think I'm going to make that one my capital here because that should pull in Hexar, Corellia, and Sahura. Yeah. Our construction is complete. That'll work out well. I don't think I can do that right now. I gotta wait for it to colonize. And that'll get rid of the frontier section, and we can get them a governor, and they will be doing much better overall. How can we do that? And let's have the maniacs. Ooh, robot debris! A subtle differences in the designs. Food! 12 months. <laughs> The feisty feasters are a hungry bunch. There is no denying that. Every time I turn around, it's like, food! It's like having children in the house. It's exactly like having children in the house. Good, 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 good. Mark that as a mandatory job first. <laughs> 40 food. We're good. All right. Eaton Stella is going to be the next one we're going to dump into. Uh, oh, well, I think they're actually probably already. Well, there they, now they are. That should take a chunk out of that. I don't know if I have any food processing. Not yet. And we've got ourselves an arm smuggler. Wonderful. Who's going to work for us? Uh, ooh, somebody's gone for a run. Good. Who was Smug Explorer? Oh, was he still in their space? Yes, I bet he was. So he was ejected from the uh, robot space because they don't like him. Well, they don't like me. And we've got the 8,000 fleet sitting there. Alright. Show offs. Actually, I'm going to try upgrading these guys again. Time to be at war with the robots is fast approached. Weapon range and... Ooh. Or... Nope. Go with the brain slug guy. It's fine. Everybody loves their brain slugs. But I am sitting at fleet power equal to his. The only difficulty is going to be the 904 station added on to the fleet power there isn't really difficult it's just it definitely adds a, a challenge to the mix we weren't bleeding food oh i bet you look good boiled in a stew we'll find out one day can i sell some drone 
buy a little bit of that. Yeah, we're gonna buy a little more. Our we're gonna risk the biscuit. There we go. Robot debris is going well. Ooh, that should actually be enough to do that. Activate that and get our scientists on that. So this is the bonus projects you get after you finish your uh, precursor species. I think every every one of those storylines has these bonuses, if you're not familiar. I don't remember what the Zeroni gives me, but we're going to do it because it needs to be done. Research output. Get smarter. Our swarm is strengthened. Our construction is complete. Right, where is that? that guy. Our swarm is strengthened. Got an enemy there. Okay, I got nothing left to claim as far as space goes. So go ahead and throw you on auto. Command limit up. Yep. I said yep. There we go. Everybody bumps up to 50, which then also means as soon as we get the battleship done, which I believe we're working on right now, we'll add those to our, our fleets. And they will be much stronger for it. I think we're still rating equivalent with the robots. Sitting at 10k now. Interesting. He is just... I mean, he's doing exactly what I'm doing. He's building his fleet, making it better. Excellent. So we got a research Our bonus finishing that one. Needs. I don't know if that adds anything. It does not. I kind of hope that it add, added like an alloy uh, bit to the asteroid. It doesn't, unfortunately. You get a nice uh, engineering boost, which in this case, well needed because it took like 20 months off of this for the, uh, the, the cruiser. Sorry, I keep saying battleship. So that is Our a win is in complete. my book. A new nest is born. Oh, we got a new nest. Spawning synapses. A new nest is born. Oh man, they both came through rather quickly. The base stuff going, but the population started at least, and then we will designate them out later. What are you working on? You know what? You can come down here. on patrol. Are they at war with somebody else? <gasps> they are with the neighbors. <laughs> well, sorry, fellas. Uh, yeah, we're going to definitely come and say hi. 106 in the garrison. So pause this for a second while I get some assault crews. Why are there two different ones? Am I missing something? No, they look like they're exactly the same. I wonder if one's the brain slug guy. It's just not showing as the brain slug guy. I wonder. I wonder how. I wonder. Oh, nope, sorry. That down. Oh, it's time to go greet the neighbors. Greet, eat, whatever. You know, we're going to go say hi. Seeing as his fleet is off somewhere over here, he's building all kinds of space stations to protect himself. He's built this one over here. Hmm. Useless. Technology conceived. 
The only real good thing about this is if he's off fighting and his fleet is winning, he's not going to get bounced back home. And if he does get bounced home, because he's got this space station right here, he might end up here instead of at his home base. So that means I can pick this off before a good chance before he even gets up here and gets involved. Which is going to be wonderful. Church of the Endless Expansion. I don't remember this one. Oh, I think I do. I think I do. It's going to give me like a bonus to uh, my people's ability to keep their brains intact or something. Uh, it, it helps with their stability. That's the word I'm looking for. I need to start upgrading these star bases. As soon as the food's taken care of. It's getting better. It is getting better. And we've got we've got money growing now, so that's a good thing. There you go. Send that guy over there. Technology conceived. I'm gonna build the hive one here. Get an extra one of these out. I need to get rid of those sinkholes next. Oh, the cruisers are in. Excuse me for a moment while we upgrade the fleets. Bring that up to 50 for them. For them. I'll we'll be able to reinforce one ship at the moment. Oh man, they got weak all of a sudden again. It's that auto upgrade I did, isn't it? Oh, you know what it is? It's my uh, five year plan just wore out off of the relic. Yep. That's exactly what it was. The five year plan wore out, so I lost the bonus. So everybody sits and looks a little weaker for a bit. No, 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 no. This one stays here. If you guys aren't going to come to him, I will give him a leader. Oh, that definitely works. Everybody's coming in the right direction now. Where'd that guy go? Me. It was a mysterious moon. We like juicy things. Let's look. That will be backlogged after this. A little more food as well. Our special project is complete. There we go. And. Yay, three more ships. <laughs> it's not a lot, but we'll take what we can get. Actually, it's a good, it's a good time. It is a good time to do this. Because even though the 10,000 fleet is gone. I can grab his capital and then go.
grab some space and hopefully hold him off. So what is he sitting now? Is he equivalent? Equivalent. Just keep hitting the reinforce button. I think that's going to be my biggest thing. Just hit reinforce whenever I've got some alloys. I'll spend some cash when it's there. And uh, we're going to eat this up. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's go to war. Hello, robots. Yep, we are going to eat you. It might hurt the teeth a little bit, but we're doing it. We are doing it. Crunchy style. This is going to hurt them pretty bad right off the hop. Our special project is complete. Come on, ships. Rogue moon base. What? The moon is slightly left side of the far side. Share of total mass. Oh, nice. So that adds a uh, dark matter source to Subra, which is great, and I get some dark matter drawing. So I learn how to, I think, pick that up, or get some of that tech to help pick stuff up. Look at everybody running. No, they're coming. Run. The scared little robots are fleeing. Beep, pop, or beep. There go your transports. Whatever ship that was. And a science ship, and we're good. We are golden. Moving on. Uh, just going to double check that station strength real quick. 2K. Oh, yeah, we got that. Fellas, here. Land those armies. He lost some stuff. A destroyer and a transport ship. Starport, obviously, and the science ship bolted. Don't blame it. Oh, except that science ship didn't make it. <laughs> that science ship ran into a wall. Research projects in the system. Oh, we got a new admiral out of it. Nice. Something died the minute it came through that system portal. <laughs> Those transports like, nope, we're gone. Nope. All hope is lost. <laughs> Technology <laughs> conceived. We have learned of a new strategic resource in Hesia. Okay. Let's get that cleared up. Oh, good. We found some exotic gas. That is excellent, actually. Those. Over there. We're raiding the planet. My favorite thing to watch. Defense grid robots. Wrecked. They only cost us one unit. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, look at this. He's got some synthetic crystal plants already going. He's got good synaptic nodes rocking here. And research. Thank you, sir. Now, mind you, it's going to be basically us tearing things down. It's a machine world, isn't it? I don't think I can use this planet. <gasps> you dirty little robot. Well, I'm going to get some research and some ore from you guys. So, you know what? I'm going to turn you into spaceships. It'll be fantastic. 71 of you. Becoming ships. Wonderful. And your planet will die and just be floating there and be a nice little marble in space. Yeah, of course there's deviancy. There's no drones there. I can't grow anything there. My people won't live here. Our construction is complete. Zero habitability! 
Decline faster, robots. We're kidding. <laughs> I, I wasn't kidding when I said I'm going to build my ships out of them. I'm getting 650 alloy a month. A month for those guys. That's insanity. I love it. So you're coming through there to research those. Then you can research those. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, research those and then research those. Okay. Uh, yeah, go there. Excavate that one next. I don't even know if that's the right site. I'm assuming it is. I could do this and go, is this the right site? It's the right site. Get you guys banded together. Let's sell some of this stuff off. Make sure we got some food assurances in place. And continue on with our day. Oh, the Rubicator is moving forward. Right, good luck to you, Sir Scientist. I hope you can get out of there in time when the time comes. Look at that. Oh, man. Even the uh, the other enemies coming through. They took a wallop. Oh. <laughs> Let's go down here. Reinforcements rolling through for you. Some for you. And there's still enough space to get some for you. Because I've got lots of alloys now. Technology conceived. Ridiculous amount. It's going to go up and down, I think, month to month as we diminish those guys. Just insane. Clear block them. Let's get those done. I gotta get to every space I can on my planets as soon as possible. Oh, he is clipping those off. He's closing me in. How is their war actually coming? What, what are they at here? 35 and 40 for war exhaustion. Okay. And he's moving across. He's going for their last planet. Which I can't see. Which makes sense, because... Actually, where is your... Time for this fella to find a new job. Espionage. We've got an asset. We've got 35. Let's gather some information. It's not really your field of expertise, but every little bit helps. The Memorex. That's what we're going for. I couldn't think of the name of it. Ah, oh, turds. He's already grabbed it. He's moving out there. Let's go. Let's go. He's going to grab this space before I even have a chance. Get over here. I am going to try to grab this planet because I don't know what type it is. I got three guys digging right now, don't I? Or it feels like I got three digging. He's already grabbed the system. Knowledge. And we're clipping along. Technology conceived. Interesting. Oh. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hold off on that for right now in case one of the neighbors wants to bring it in. I want to be able to throw that on initially just for that little bit of a surprise. I got twice as strong. <laughs> you know. Get a little bigger right out the gate. You've got your reinforcements coming. You a couple more. Technology conceived. A couple more. We have assimilated knowledge. 
Pop grow speed. Oh, although I need that too, because that one planet I'm trying to build up is full of potholes. Now I'm going to grab a couple of these. They're going to be absolutely useless to me. But if I can get one before they've been subjugated. Fan freaking fantastic ah oh, good i was wondering how i was getting my fleets back i'm like ah uh, i'm stuck <laughs> i'm a little stuck okay not a problem let's downgrade this bad boy uh we're gonna downgrade oh you're building some shit for me right now aren't you yeah you're building some cruisers wonderful uh, this one here, we're going to downgrade you, because we don't need you anymore. This station here. Upgrade. And now, upgrade the shipyards, as well as the fleet. Get them all up to snuff. I don't understand how they had hyperlanes already. I mean, I'm not arguing that they, they didn't have the tech, but... Lucky buggers, eh? My guys are certainly not there. Yeah. They definitely are not there. Uh, housing is always good, but mining, synthetic crystal plants, mining first. Food's going to be in 12 months. Sell off some of that. Sell off some of that. Oh, jeez, man. This stuff is getting expensive. Not a problem. But hey, with the War of the Machines is over. We have taken a home world from them, which is currently just <clears throat> a recycling plant, for lack of a better term. <laughs> it's, it's literally all we're doing is we can't grow here. Uh, and resettling here just makes no sense because I am going to take a kick in the teeth for living here. So I'm going to let this planet just roll out and we will probably terraform it later to suit our needs. Technology conceived. Which will work. I mean, it definitely will get the job done. Hydroponic plants, that'll work good for my... Yeah, we're going to do this one next too. That'll be good for my um, support stations that I'm currently using as... Uh... Where is this station? Hold on a second. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. We'll let you, we'll let you keep that one. The Memorex is coming with us. So this gives stability plus 10 and resources of jobs plus 20%. That is a fantastic addition to the species. I think it goes to the planet. Yeah. Or oh, no, sorry. Does it not come here? Or have we not found it yet? The Memorex modifier added giving the following effect. Okay. Which means they have the Memorex added to them, so my home world has the bonus of plus 20% from jobs and plus Our construction is complete. So excellent for them. And you can have some stuff cleared. Uh, the generator agricultural districts. That one we're gonna clear first. Generator districts. Man, the generator districts on this planet are all blocked up. Don't think we have a farm place. Nope, we're good. The foul stench. <laughs> the kleptomaniac rats. I love that title. Ew, squishies. See his guts, his organs, brain. Well, 
always like to see what's on the menu, and I always enjoy pictures, so that helps. That's <laughs> such a weird thing to be playing a devouring swarm and having to come up with some of these things sometimes. Man, my fleets are gone, so they're going to be gone for a while. Uh, the next is oh, food processing. Thanks, I wasn't doing something. Yeah, I need to get the food processing done. That way I can get a little better at managing um, yeah, managing the, the food crisis we're currently facing. Is there another site? There is out here, which we're not going for just yet, which we could as soon as the fleets come back. So, you can come over here. I don't think we there's anything to search along there. But yeah, we're going to send you there anyway. When the fleets get back, we're going to send probably the Solar Reavers. Oh, good. These guys are back. Wonderful. Technology conceived. Actually, we'll take the McNabor and make that your home base. There you go. Upgrade this place. Uh, two station. I might take the two station out or turn it into an anchorage. Shortly, I need to find the ones that are. Yeah, so that's my current blockade station out here. Although I could probably put one at OSEC, but really, that's my first line of defense over there. Dimrus, yeah, you'll be next. I think you're already upgrading. Well, you're not, but you will be. Corellia. That one is the other one that needs to be updated. And Hixar. And those robots came in handy for upgrades. Like, they are just making a difference overall. As recycled material. Such as your home base there and return home. Definitely good for that. The fleets. It's weird that we went that way. We'll Technology conceived. Would you add? Okay, no, that you don't need. You got an extra cruiser somehow. Fine, you can have your extra cruiser. Have an ability plus five. That's going to help everybody. Friggin' food. Hard shelled candy. Let's go. And immediately, they're like, hey, hard shelled candy. No, you're not coming near here. <laughs> Close those borders quick. All right. Ships are cruising. Everybody's getting to their spaces. You're almost back in. Oh, you still got another year before you show up. Holy smokes. Spreading illness. Oh, well, that's that piling thing of crap they waded through to get to the building. We're getting sick. No kidding. You played in poop. What do you expect, guys? Uh, more shipyards. And... Technology conceived. Oh, no, the governor has died. This is, this is the point you hate to see where you start losing all your experienced leaders. Ah! They're going to start dying, aren't they? Oh, crap. That was Governor Sharptooth. He's been a wonderful governor. Uh, we got Governor Slippery John, Golden Sayata, and Mean Beard. Ooh, but Mean Beard, you don't have a little friend. Because if you had the friend, that'd be an extra bonus research. Like this guy who's got plus 10 to everything for research, and then an additional plus 15. Holy crap. Please work for me. Thank you. Man, I love that brain slug. And I did mean to come back here once I landed this one. 
form a sector and recruit somebody over here. Now, let's see. Clearance and brain slug, clearance and brain slug. So it's cast away Elizabeth or Slippery John. Cast away Slippery John. I don't cast anybody away, so Slippery John. I don't cast them away, but I definitely will eat them. Sorry. The, the, the eating sound was completely unnecessary, but it felt good to make a nibbly noise. Our construction is complete. Our construction is complete. Anchorage in. Uh, we might slide this up a little bit so we can get a little more food processing. Process, processing. Whereabouts? So that's the Mictobor. You can have another one of those and one of those. And uh, for the time being, another one of those. Fleets are getting stronger. Like this ship's trying to catch up. Like it's been chasing the whole time to join up. So I think this one is too. I can't even click on it. Ooh, wonderful! Grab an ascension perk. I think. Ooh, hull points damage. Platform damage. Eternal Vigilance would be wonderful for my borders. Uh, not becoming the crisis, although things get real cheap there eventually. And I'm going to be fighting everybody anyway, so I might take that at some point. Um, I, I did say it earlier in the last episode. Uh, Mastery of Nature definitely has... The pull to me because it gives you two extra districts to every planet when you use the the uh, decision for it. Um. Hmm. Seeing as my neighbors are currently teamed up, and I have to do some, I don't have to, but I have to build up myself strong enough to take them both on at the same time, or at the very least, I have to get them to fall apart through espionage. Vigilance is definitely good to have on my borders. Yeah. Yeah. And I need the protection. <sighs> but I need this too. Alright, we're going to go Master of Nature. Mm. I don't want to lose. Uh, yeah, you know what? If it's enough to, to cause them to think twice at the moment, because we're still equivalent, right? On both sides, equivalent. They have superior tech over here, which I'm getting better at by the day. These guys are equivalent across the board, so currently a fight between us is going to look kind of sketchy. So I think we're going to have to work on building up our borders. I've got one point there, one point there, and then this point right down here that I have to protect. And then there is these guys all teamed up with these guys. So I've got I've got some pretty big neighbors who are all working together. I gotta start picking them off. I'm gonna do some espionage to get that rolling initially and then I'm just gonna have to start taking chunks out of them. Literally chunks. Although I might explore this way because there has not been any um, I haven't seen anything or haven't been notified of any of these little, hey there's somebody over here uh, from those points, there's a relic world there and a dig site for the ruined world. So that is definitely a good way to expand as well. But I think we're going to call it there. That'll be the end of the episode for today. I want to thank you all for joining us with the Feisty Feasters as we continue to grow and continue to eat things. Robots, it turns out, are quite delicious and do produce quite a lot of material when you eat them so these guys were fantastic neighbors to dig in first and uh yeah they're still technically alive technically down there we'll, we'll get there and get a little more alloys out of them eventually and as the fact that they're now a uh, vassal maybe they'll start transferring out although they are gestalt 
intelligence. I don't think they can have a uh, migration treaty. Anyway, there's an alloy farm there growing, and we'll go get it later. This has been Chili Philly. This has been the Feisty Feasters, or this is be me playing the Feisty Feasters. You know what I mean. I really appreciate you guys being here. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And, uh, yeah, if you've, if you've commented on the last video and you've asked for the name change in the ship, uh, know that I, I'm filming these in advance. There's a bank of videos. So the name changes are coming. When I see the comments, uh, I will change the names of my ships and things like that and get you guys in here so you can be a part of the game as well. Uh, if I don't get it in this one, I'll add it to the next series, and I will definitely make a point of mentioning it. All right? Have a wonderful day. We'll see you all next time. Bye now.